In our research group, we do uh, lots and lots of work in statistical modeling, specifically with the aim of um, helping decision making in health. And that means effectively, for example, testing whether interventions like drugs uh, are not only effective in curing people, but also affordable for the NHS. And that has to do a lot with statistical modeling, which is the side that we come from. I think it's very um, interesting uh, as an area, health economics, and maybe you may think if you are somebody with a degree in statistics that, oh, but that's just economics, I don't, I don't really care about that. But that's not the point. I think health economics is a very wide discipline with lots of different perspectives, and statistics is instrumental to many of those perspectives. Uh, in particular, the things that we do in terms of modeling for cost-effectiveness analysis is very much based on uh, statistical modeling, uh, Bayesian analysis, so it's very much <coughs> an interesting feature and an interesting topic for somebody uh, who's studied statistics and wants to keep doing that um, for a job. This is a very interesting area for, uh, for potential work after the master's is completed because there are several companies working in consultancy, several pharmaceutical companies who are interested in the area of health economic evaluation, decision analysis, and there is a clear need for statisticians to be more and more involved in this market. Uh, often uh, the, the modelers may not have the technical skills that a statistician may have and so we're hoping to form people who will be very robust in their analytical skills as well in, as in the, in the methodology that they know how to apply and potentially there will be uh, a very strong demand for people like this.